Good morning, and thank you for breaking your fast with me this morning. Today's scripture is found in Luke chapter 8, starting at verse 11, and it reads, This is the meaning of the parable. The seed is the word of God. The seed along the path are those who have heard, and then the devil comes and takes away the word from their hearts, so that they may not believe and be saved. And the seed on the rock are those who, when they hear, welcome the word with joy, having no root. These believe for a while and depart in a time of testing. As for the seed that fell among thorns, these are the ones who, when they have heard, go on their way and are choked with worries, riches, and pleasures of life and produce no mature fruit. But the seed in the good ground, these are the ones who, having heard the word with an honest and good heart, hold on to it and by enduring bear fruit. All right, just as an encouragement and a reflection today, um, I just want to ask you to to um, look at these four paths. You have uh, the just the path. Uh, where the word is and the devil comes and takes the snatches it away. And then you have the rock, you have thorns, and then you have good ground. And I want you to just think about your life and just how the scripture has um, um, told us how, how the enemy comes and takes those things from us or how life happens and we allow life to take the word of God instead of us standing on the word. Um, So I want you to just kind of reflect on and think about um, where you stand in your in your spiritual walk, in your journey, um, as you are breaking the fast and reading the word, are you allowing the word to get in in you or uh, are you allowing the the things of life to choke out the word are you allowing what does it say here um um if there is no root um the for a while if there's no wood these believe for a while and depart at a time of testing so are you allowing tests and trials that come into your life to choke out the word of God or to snatch it away or uh, or are you allowing the seed to be in good ground in your heart um, where when you hear the word, um, um, you you abide by the word, you follow and you submit uh, and follow the word and hold on to it. And no matter what happens, no matter what is going on around you. Um, so my challenge to you again is to just reflect on the scripture and find out where do you stand uh, in your walk with Christ? Where do you stand? Are you just on the path and the enemy can, can easily come and just snatch the word of God out of your heart, out of your mind? Are you on a rocky path where you take the word in with joy and you're happy about the word of God, but yet there is no real root uh, and, it, and it doesn't go very deep. And so when testing comes, you know, it, it, the word is not, you don't stand on the word. It's taken away. Uh, or is it with, uh, are you at a point of where there are thorns um, and that choke out the word of God because of worries and, and the pleasures of life and just life circumstances and trying to obtain and receive things? Um, or, or are you in good ground? Um, where um, you hear the word and you you hold on to the word and you believe the word and you stand on the word and you trust God and you take him at his word. Um, so I want you to just think on those things. And, and that's my challenge to you today um, as you reflect upon the scripture and ask God, what does he want to say to you? And to point out areas in your life, maybe that... Um, where it's causing you to be in one of these states that that really aren't aren't productive to you as a Christian believer. So 
We've broken our fast by looking into the word of God today and reflecting upon the scripture. And I really thank you so much for joining me for breakfast this morning. I pray that you've been encouraged by the word. Uh, I pray that you've been challenged by the word as well uh, to 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 go forth and look at your life and, and see if you are, are living what you want to live, the life you want to live for Christ. And so a lot of times we say we want something, but we're not re- willing to do the work. We're not willing to do what it takes. So I want you to just look at at that and and challenge yourself um to to find out where you stand um so remember to love like god loves you remember you are special no matter what you are going through and no matter what you have been through be blessed and i will see you on the next episode